general antibacterial groups. Naturally, the bacterial cell consists of an outer cell wall that envelops all bacterial components. Next to it is the bacterial bilayer cell membrane, which lies in direct contact with the cytoplasm and other cellular organelles. Bacterial cells have their own double DNA strands. which can replicate and produce messenger RNA strands. RNA strands are translated by the ribosomal complex, which is composed of 50S and 30S subunits, to produce various essential proteins. In addition, there are some biochemical pathways in the bacterial cells. Among these important pathways are the production and metabolism of dihydrofolic acids, which are essential for DNA synthesis. In general, the antibacterial groups can disturb various bacterial essential structures. For example, they can disturb the cell wall synthesis. The cell wall inhibitors include the beta-lactams antibiotics, such as penicillins, cephalosporins, carbapenems, and monobactam groups. Non-beta-lactam cell wall inhibitors include vancomycin and daptomycin. Away from antituberculosis, the cell membrane is not a popular target for antibacterial drugs. In contrast, DNA synthesis and replication became a popular target for antibacterial agents. Among the important DNA replication inhibitors is the fluoroquinolone group, which is a large family that includes ciprofloxacin, ofloxacin, and levofloxacin. Additionally, some drugs interfere with mRNA synthesis through the inhibition of DNA-dependent RNA polymerase enzyme. An important example is rifambin antibiotics. One of the historical targets of antibacterial agents is ribosomal protein synthesis. They either target the 50S subunit, such as chloramphenicol, clindamycin, linozolid, and macrolides, or the 30S subunit, such as aminoglycoside and tetracycline. Folic acid synthesis and metabolism is another important target. Folic acid synthesis inhibitors include sulfonamide group, whereas folic acid metabolism inhibitors include trimethoprim.